What's going on everyone? It's Brody back again with another tennis question and today's tennis topic is going to be about tennis rackets but more importantly the grip of your tennis racket. Now I know a lot of you you've heard me talk about grip size before and the reason I keep t saying and talking about it is because of how important it actually is. Now Many of the things that can go wrong with grip size is A, you got one that's too big, B, you got one that's too small, and C, you got one that's uncomfortable. If any of those things apply to you, take a look at this video and we'll get right into that. So the big thing you need to know about the grip size is you got to get one that's comfortable for your hand. Now, when you're looking at brand new rackets like this one I have right here, yes, it's an older version, but it is brand new because it's still in the plastic wrap and it has not been strung or played with. So... On these rackets, first thing you'll notice, especially if you look at the handle down here, there's going to be this number right here. That, it, while it may look reversed to you, that is the number three. So that means that this racket is a four and three eighths grip size. When you take this off, bare bones, racket is four and three eighths grip. Those numbers on the racket, you can see a zero, a one, a two, a three, a four, sometimes a five, not really ever a six, but if you see that number, that is the grip that it corresponds to. If you have a zero, it's a just a four. If you have a one, it's a four and one eighth. If you have a two, it's a four and a quarter. <coughs> Excuse me. If you have a three, it's a four and three eighths. If you have a four, it's a four and a half. If you have a five, it's a four and five eighths. These are the general measurements that the racket manufacturers go off of when they're selecting the grips for their rackets and they're making them. You can usually figure out which one that fits best for your hand by usually just holding on to it however you hold your forehand grip and if you can usually tell pretty quickly if one feels comfortable or not because if you say are trying a four and three eighths grip compared to a four and one eighth grip you are going to be able to tell that difference i would say pretty fast if not you may be a new player and first of all welcome second of all we'll get that taken care of here in a second so the lower the number from zero to let's say five for this instance the lower number, the smaller the grip. Pretty simple, not really too complicated there. So like in that example I gave with a one and a three, the one is going to be much more thinner. It's not gonna be as thick as the three grip like this one is. So if you're a new player and you're starting out, typically you wanna start around a two or a three. Those are usually the main standards because a three is typically the standard grip size for a male tennis player. This is a full adult male tennis player. And a two is usually the standard for a female full adult tennis player. So in those categories, then you can start to figure out what grip size works best for you. These are not end all be alls. You do not have to stick with this. Your grip size can change depending on what you feel. You can go up, you can go down. It all depends on you because we are all individual humans. We all have different needs and specific wants. So. What may feel good to some may not feel good to others. So that's why you really get to choose and just see what's going on and see what you will like to go with. Now, what you can do, once you actually get a racket, just hold on to, you can hold on to it, see how it fits in your hand. If it feels natural, okay. The one thing I will always say is, say you're trying to decide between a three, four and three eighths, or a four, four and a half. The big thing you wanna do is to go with the smaller one if you can't really tell a difference between the two. The reason for that is because you can always make the grip bigger a lot easier than you can make the grip smaller. So if you go with a four and three eighths and then you play with it for a little while and you're like, okay, now I see I actually did like the four and a half or the four, then you can put an overgrip on it, you can put two overgrips on it, make it thicker, so you can really figure out the sweet spot for what you prefer on your tennis racket. That, that's where the customization part of tennis comes in. It's not a cookie cutter solution for everyone. You have to figure out what you like, what you don't like, and we can go from there. Other than that, those are a few of the main things about your tennis grip that I feel like it's important for people to know about. If you want, you can always look to other ways to measure it, like you can get an exact measurement by holding, by just actually measuring the grip itself to see what you th to see what the manufacturers actually made it because i will say some manufacturers they're not the best at maintenance on these rackets like <clears throat> excuse me they'll say it's a four and three eighths 
but then you find out and if you actually measure it, it's say like a four and a full or four and a quarter, or it's a four and a half or something else. So take everything you see with a grain of salt. These numbers and guidelines, they're just a metric that are what the manufacturers are trying to get to. Sometimes you'll find if you have two of the exact same racket, they'll feel different in your hand because they are a little, one's a little thicker, one's a little thinner. It just all depends. And that's where you actually holding onto the racket, seeing what fits well in your hand is where everything comes down to. So if you like the video, leave a like on it, comment down below any more questions you may have about the tennis grips or the tennis racket handles, what to look for, anything, what else you may wanna watch out for. And as always, subscribe to the channel so that we can grow this channel and really just get rid of a lot of the tennis misinformation that is in the tennis community. I've seen a lot of it around and that's why I took it upon myself to make this YouTube channel so that we could get rid of that and get the information from the people who have it to the people who need it. And as always, Take care.